Oh my gosh, what a cool basketball hoop. Hi, pumpkin. Hello. <laughs> Anyways, what is up, beautiful? Oh, you're gonna sit with me for the intro? You're so good. Anyways, what is up, beautiful angel muffin pies? It's Amber, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to do an original broke bitch DIY. I saw this super cool little basketball art thing on my Pinterest the other day, and I was like, oh, I need to buy that because I buy everything. But as it turns out, it's like $4,000, <laughs> And as much as I'd love to take out a second mortgage just to decorate my house, I figured this was an opportunity to make one myself. Bippity boppity, basketball. <laughs> Say hi, boogeyman. Oh, I love you. Oh, you got me. I love you. Okay, let's begin. Ooh. <laughs> Remember when I had a fashion channel? Yeah, me too. I started dressing like a worm after the pandemic. I just, you know, it'd be like that. Anyways, we are doing crafts, so. So for your outfit of the day, you wanna make sure you actually do wanna be dressed like trash in stuff that you don't care about ruining. So, um, we got some dirty sweatpants and a dirty old t-shirt. And on that note, here's what you need for this project. Dun, dun, uh, okay, so here is what I got for this. Um, you can see I got this little frame. I actually got this at Michael's, um, though you can buy these sort of things on Amazon. Ta-da, voila. I got a little basketball hoop like this. So you can see it looks like this. I haven't taken it out of the plastic yet, but it's like an over the door basketball hoop. You can see this is what I got on Amazon. Again, super cool. So it comes with a little hoop and all that shenanigans. I also got a metal chain um, basketball net just to make it look a little more formal and fancy. Came with a basketball. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Sports were never really my thing, but I did always like the players. Haha, <laughs> story times for another day. Okay, anyways. I also got these little plastic decor butterflies, so we're gonna use those. You're also gonna need some fabric of your choice. You can see I went ahead with this uh, black glittery fabric just because this is super fun and glittery, like, hello. Of course, a trusty glue gun. Mine's disgusting, I know. I should get a new one, but whatever. One excited pumpkin man to do the craft with. And then of course you also need some spray paint, whatever colors you're gonna go with. I think we're gonna do like a black and gold theme just to kind of mimic this design because it just looks so groovy. So um, here we go. Like I said, I don't really know how I'm gonna do this exactly, but I got some crafty ideas. After all, I am quite the crafty bitch. So here we go. Alrighty, so the first order of business is going to be to make sure you have a clean setup. So lay some trash bags or some cardboard down before you get your spray painting on. But first thing we're going to do is spray paint the baseboard with a primer base. So you can just spray that. Um, it looks like this. It's gray. This is just going to flatten it out for the color. Um, this is kind of an optional step just to make it look better, but there you go. So you can see that's going to be all grayed up like that. Fabuloso. Then we're going to go ahead and take some black spray paint and I am going to spray paint that black. I know, right? Rocket science. But <laughs> Literally just spray that on until it is all nice and black. Ta-da! Oh, look how cool it's mirrored. Hi. <laughs> Give that a second to dry there, and while we do, we'll spray paint everything else. So we can take our frame here. We're going to spray paint this with gold. I'm not going to bother putting a primer on this because whatever. So I'm just going to spray paint this. Da -da -da -da. This is so easy, by the way. It takes like two seconds and dries in like five minutes. So you're good to go there. We got a nice gold frame now. Fabuloso. And we're just going to kind of go ham with the spray painting, to be honest. We're going to also spray paint the hoop. So grab that. Spray paint that gold. Bada bing, bada boom. Take the chain hoop and spray paint that as well with, guess what? The same gold spray paint. We're even going to spray paint the ball just because I think that's funny. So we're going to spray paint that and I have breathed in entirely too much spray paint so I'm starting to feel crazy so now we're definitely going to take a break <laughs> so while you wait for all that to dry you can play with your dog do a cartwheel I don't know occupy yourself in some fashion then once that's dry you can bring it inside and we are going to wrap the fabric around it kind of encasing it so um, the entire board is covered in the fabric and to do that I'm gonna use my trusty glue gun so literally, I'm just going to hot glue that onto the back. You can see, lay it flat. Just kind of glue that around the edges. No rhyme or reason to really how to do this. You can do it in any way you want. Just go ahead and attach that. Do the front, do the back, do the sides so it all is stuck in place. Kind of like gift wrapping a present, except it's a basketball hoop. Dun, 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 dun. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls love gorgeous, gorgeous basketball hoops. 
Oh my gosh, now it's gonna be glittery. You guys, this is amazing. Now we're gonna go ahead and actually attach the hoop to it. You can see there's some holes in the bottom here. I had to trim an area of the fabric because I forgot about that. Oops, I don't really read directions too often. So yeah, my bad. Um, read the directions first if you wanna attach it properly. But you know, I mean, I think we all know by this point, this is not a professional channel. So I poked some holes in there, went ahead and just screwed in the hoop, um, super easy. So just attach that like so. <laughs> Gorgeous. <laughs> now we're gonna take our butterflies and decorate this. So you can see these are the little plastic butterflies I got, they're super cool. You can just kind of bend them and then they're gonna be like three dimensional, but really they're just kind of like a weird little plastic uh, sticker almost kind of. So um, it's easier to obviously just buy pre-colored ones that you want, but since I didn't pre-plan this video as I never do, um, I am going to spray paint them gold so they go with the aesthetic, but they have tons of them on Amazon. So just buy whatever it is that you're looking for. Then you can skip this step, but but anyways, you can see I just spray painted these gold real quick. Super easy. Let those dry. Not a problem. And then we're going to have those all nice and ready to stick on, um, stick on and decorate. You're very welcome for making all the mistakes for you on this channel. <laughs> so anyways, once you got the butterflies, you can just do whatever you want with this. I'm going to try and make it look like they're flying across the board a little bit. So I'm going to put them in a little bit of a diagonal pattern. Um, just kind of going up, uh, going up the hoop area here. By the way, don't use hot glue for this. These are made of plastic and it will melt them. So rust out the original OG trusty E6000 glue for this part. Um, that way they will stick and not melt. So you can see they're just kind of cascading up there. So gorgeous. <gasps> we love it. How fun. So now we're gonna take our spray painted gold chain hoop. You can just link that onto the hoop. Um, I actually couldn't tell you how to do this properly. I think I did it wrong, but you know, for the base vibes, that'll work. <laughs> And you can see it now looks like this. Now what we gotta do is attach the frame, which again, you can see I'm literally just going to hot glue the frame to it. Um, just kind of put that everywhere. Again, this is fine, it's the back, you're not gonna see it anyway. So just kind of glue that on there till it's all uh, nice and tight and attached to the frame. So when you flip it over, it looks like this. And now... So now we're just gonna hang it up and uh, play ball. Mm -hmm. Is that baseball? Actually, no, no, nor do I care. Okay, here we go. You ready? Finished product. Da -da 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 -da. Drum roll, please. <gasps> Ta -da! Oh my God, look at how stinking cool this came out. <gasps> this is literally the coolest thing ever. <gasps> wow. And look at how it looks up close, so pretty. You can see the butterflies and the frame look unbelievable, literally iconic, OMG. <gasps> look at the glitter on that. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really 100% sure how to attach a basketball hoop. I think I might have done this wrong. But overall for the aesthetics, so cool. Get our little nice gold ball. <gasps> Woohoo! Oh God, I'm actually very afraid. Is this gonna fall off the wall? Yay! <laughs> Off camera, I did that like 75 million times. You can obviously hang this on your wall too. I put it over the door because it's made for over the door, so it looks super cool up there. But uh, like I said, you can do this in any different color waves you want. Switch it up, do whatever it is you fancy, and voila. Oh my gosh, it looks so, so good. And a grand heaping total of this only cost me 72 bucks. As I would say, we freaking nailed it. Now that's what I call a world-class sporting event. Gold medal for me. <laughs> Z Gallery or whoever wants to mass produce this, if you're hiring, call me. <laughs> freaking nailed it. If I do, say so. Myself. Who said I don't know anything about sports? ESPN Queen. You wanna play? Blink for you. Oh no, okay. So there you have it. That is how I made my own little DIY basketball hoop. I hope you guys enjoyed the silly little video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, and I will see you guys very soon. Let me know if there's anything else you want me to make. I do love a good suggestion. I will see you guys very soon. All my love in the world and then some. XO. Oh my god, my hand. <laughs>
Um, okay, well, yeah, ta-da, minus that. Ew, oh my god. Thank god I have a nail appointment tomorrow. <laughs>